Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we're going to do the detailed review of the latest budget smartphone from Xiaomi in India, the Xiaomi Redmi 9 Prime. So Xiaomi has been uh, launching a couple of uh, devices in the 9 series. So initially we had the Redmi Note 9 Pro and the Pro Max. Then came Redmi Note 9 and uh, the latest entrant to the 9 series is the Redmi 9 Prime. So the Prime variant comes uh, to India after a long uh, uh, gap and uh, this Redmi 9 Prime comes packed with a uh, pretty good hardware. It has full HD resolution display. It is powered by the uh, Helio G80 Octa-Core processor. You get 4 gigs of RAM and uh, you also get uh, uh, 64 gigs of storage, a quad camera setup uh, and a 5000 mAh capacity battery. There is also 18 watt uh, fast charging support even though the box comes with only 10 watt charger. So that's the hardware of the Redmi 9 Prime. So the pricing starts at 9 triple nine. That's one of the really good aspects about the Redmi 9 Prime. So let's see how good is the Redmi 9 Prime in this detailed review. So if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. Now next, let's talk about the design and build quality. So when you look at the Redmi 9 Prime, you can see that uh, there are lots of resemblance with uh, uh, the POCO design. You can see the circular pattern on the back panel and the camera unit uh, is integrated into the circular pattern and you also get a pattern on the back panel. Now uh, the difference here is that this is a polycarbonate material but uh, the good thing about the polycarbonate material is that it's not a glossy finish, it's a matte finish and uh, you get this pattern uh, on the back panel which uh, helps in preventing the smudges and uh, the fingerprint uh, uh, magnet uh, so it is not a fingerprint magnet actually so uh, it uh, definitely feels a good premium looking device for a 10k price segment so overall in terms of the uh, design aspect this definitely feels quite good now if you look at the front panel design now you can see that this has a, a, a notch or display it's a u notch and uh, the bezels are also been kept to minimal uh, considering that this is a budget offering so that is another good aspect about the redmi 9 prime so overall in terms of design aspect uh, you get uh, uh, quite a good looking device uh, and uh, the build quality and fit and finish also looks quite okay uh, the in hand feel is also again good for the price segment so that's the design aspect so you can see that the fingerprint scanner is also integrated here into the camera unit which is again uh, neatly done so overall it feels quite good so that's the design and build quality now next uh, let's talk about the display now one of the things about uh, the Redmi 9 Prime is that it comes with a full HD resolution display. Now uh, at uh, 9999 pricing or rather the 10,000 price segment, you seldom see uh, full HD displays right now with uh, the GST increase and the higher dollar rate. Now you don't get uh, full HD displays in this price segment. Now the Redmi 9 Prime comes with uh, a full HD resolution display and the display quality is definitely good. Uh, for the 10,000 price segment, this performs really well. There's also Gorilla Glass protection included and the display is vibrant, crisp and uh, offers good viewing angles as well as an IPS LCD panel. And even the outdoor visibility is quite satisfactory for the 10,000 price segment. So again, Xiaomi has done a pretty good job in terms of the display quality. Now moving on to the software experience. So when we talk about the Redmi or Xiaomi devices, uh, one thing that comes to our mind is the MIUI. Now MIUI 11 uh, is the one which is uh, available on this device. So MIUI 12 is uh, uh, scheduled for uh, later this month or probably next month. Now this runs on Android 10. Now one of the inherent problems with uh, the MIUI is that it is an ad supported UI. So here also you do get ads in the UI. So that's something which you have to leave with. So if you're buying a Xiaomi smartphone, you, you should be knowing that there are ads, but they're, they're not really very intrusive because you do get ads in some of the apps only. There are no pop-ups, etc. But you do get ads in some of the UI. So, but then having said the, about the ads, the UI definitely feels good. There are lots of options uh, to customize. There are plethora of modes to choose, a dual app support, second space. So uh, there are plenty of options to choose. So it's a well uh, built UI, but the only uh, problem is that there is uh, an ad supported model on the budget uh, Xiaomi smartphones. Now moving on to the performance. So this device uh, runs on the MediaTek Helio G80 Octa-Core processor. It's, it's kind of a budget chipset. Again, uh, the focus is on uh, gaming with uh, the G80 processor. But having said that, it's definitely not a heavy gamers device. Although it does play games uh, pretty decently, uh, you can also check out our gaming review where we have done a detailed gaming test and found it to be quite satisfactory. And uh, for a 10,000 price segment, we feel this is quite good, but again, not a really ga great gamers device. 
and uh, heating was also quite okay uh, in the gaming uh, experience so you can check out our detailed gaming video to see how it performed now day to day performance is kind of okay we did not see any sort of issues here uh, it was very smooth experience app switching and uh, overall experience was kind of okay now call quality again uh, this device performed pretty well there is also voice over wi-fi a 4g lte supported and there is dual sim card support and sd card support you can expand the storage as well now uh, we tried uh, uh, with a geo sim card as well as uh, idea vodafone and we found that the call quality again was uh, pretty good and the signal strength we did not see any sort of issues now this device has a rear mounted fingerprint scanner again the fingerprint scanner performance is quite okay it's quite uh, fast and responsive as well no lags whatsoever in that aspect now next uh, is the cameras so this device has a uh, quad camera setup so you can see here we have a, a 13 megapixel primary camera then we have an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens then a macro sensor and a depth sensor included and on the front panel you get an 8 megapixel selfie camera as well again we have done a detailed camera review we found the camera to be quite a good one uh, for the 10,000 price segment good details on offer detailed shots were quite okay uh, the sharpness levels are in the very impressive but again considering the price segment it did a quite a uh, good job overall even the macros came out quite well uh, the uh, the close-up shots also did a pretty decent job again there is a bit of saturation issues but again uh, price segment uh, we don't expect uh, uh, some great uh, uh, color reproduction as well but it did a decent job overall now portraits were also quite okay which is uh, xiaomi's uh, trademark and the low light experience was not really that great because it did not have the night mode but you can turn on the hdr mode to get some decent low light uh, images as well and the selfie experience did a, a decent job overall so overall in terms of camera aspect we feel it's a quite a good device uh, considering that the uh, 10000 price segment you get a decent experience uh, with the cameras now next uh, and the final aspect is the battery so the phone comes with a, a, a 5020 mAh capacity battery similar to any other uh, Xiaomi smartphone in this price segment you do get 18 watt fast charging while uh, the bundled charger is 10 watt the 18 watt charger can uh, charge the device in uh, uh, slightly over 2 hours and uh, uh, if you are using the uh, default charger it will go above 3 hours uh, in terms of charging time now the battery life is stellar you get uh, more than 2 days of battery life easily with this device so uh, very good battery life uh, in on the redmi 9 prime so uh, summing up how good is the redmi 9 prime so we feel if you are looking for a, a budget smartphone in the 10,000 price segment without any sort of doubts we can recommend the redmi 9 prime it's a stellar device full hd resolution display good set of cameras good design and build quality great battery life decent performance and uh, you get a full hd resolution display which is seldom found in this price segment right now and on top of that uh, this is a good package overall from xiaomi with 999 pricing now the pros include again uh, good design and build quality good full hd resolution display decent performance uh, again good set of cameras and excellent battery life too now the cons again as i said before uh, the helio g80 is not a gamers device obviously at uh, uh, 10,000 price segment you can't expect a, a high-end gaming device so again it's a satisfactory performance and then the ad supported ui that is something which you have to live with uh, when you're buying a xiaomi smartphone so other than that uh, the device looks really good and if you're looking for a uh, 10,000 price segment we highly recommend to go with the redmi 9 prime so that is the detailed review of the redmi 9 prime hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day